Next, we are going to add an event that is going to create an enemy sprite called a nga nara every one second. The goal of this game is to defend your pa from the nga nara using your pere. To do this, we first need to go to the purple game tab and we are going to select the on game update every 500 milliseconds. Left click and drag that anywhere into your coding area. Left click on the black arrow to change the time to 1000 milliseconds. You can change this to increase the difficulty or the rate of spawn of your enemy sprites. Next, let's create our ngangara. To do that, go to sprites. We're going to take a set my sprite, sprite of kind player. Left click and drag that into our purple on game update every 1000 millisecond event. Now we're going to rename this. Left click on the white arrow, rename variable, and we're going to name this to nga ngara, which means bug or creepy crawly. Next, we're going to add the pixel art for our sprite. Left click on the gray box here. And we're just going to draw a nangara. I'm going to create a beetle that has a big mandible and a pink and purple carapace. You can design your nangara any way that you'd like. If you make a mistake, you can left click on the undo button or control Z. Once you have finished drawing your ngangara, select the green done button to add your pixel art. Now that we've created the image for our ngangara, we're going to change the kind of to enemy this is really important for later on in our code by changing it here it designates our ngangara as an enemy object and we can use that to take away life or to gain points in the future now let's add some code to set where the ngangara should start and which direction it should move and what should happen to it when it gets off the screen to do this first go to sprites and we're looking for a code here in physics. Set my sprite velocity to X and Y. Left click, drag into our purple on game update event. Make sure that make sure that the object we're setting the velocity of is the ngangara. First, let's change the X velocity to negative 100. This will move it from right to left. Finally, change the Y velocity to zero. This will move it in a straight line. Next, we're going to set the position to the far right of the screen. And then we're going to pick a random Y position so that our ngangara spawns in random directions to move across the screen. This will force your player to have to move up and down to try and defend the path. First, go to the My Sprites tab. We are looking for the set my sprite position X and Y. Left click and drag and drop that into the bottom of the on game event. Once again, making sure that the object is ngangara. And we're going to change the X position to 160. This is at the very end of the right side of the screen. And to create the random, we are going to use the math tab. We are looking for the pick random input. Left click. And at the end of this input, you'll see a red dot. If we move it close to a matching input here, you'll see a yellow line will connect them together. Let go of your left button and they'll snap together. In the first side of this, change it to five. On the right side, change it to 115. This is a good mix of height for our random Y position. If you look at our controller now, you'll see that we are spawning 
ngangara at random areas. Finally, we want to add some code that destroys the ngangara when it gets off the screen. This is just some cleanup code. To do that, go to sprites tab, scroll down until you find the set my sprite auto destroy on. Here it is here, left click and drag to the bottom of the on game event. Make sure that the object selected is nangara and that it is on. That completes the spawning code for our nangara.